Hi friends, this is Sharath. I am here with a video in which how Abacus 2019 can be linked with Intel A one API based toolkit in which uh, HPC toolkit can be added to have a free port Fortran compiler on Windows for Abacus 2019. So this uh, let us to have a free compiler in Abacus where we can easily run subroutines in Abacus for free. So I am uh, here to uh, discuss how it can be done. Uh, if we go to Google and search for one API Intel for Abacus, we will be able to get few links in which I am following the second link in Get Research, and uh, it is um, Victor uh, Crespo who has done the uh, presentation to link Abacus 2019 with Intel One API based toolkit and HPC toolkit so that we can have a Fortran compiler in Windows for Abacus 2019. So I, I would be following this PPT to explain how the installation and linking can be done. Okay, now uh, let's go ahead and see w uh, what are the required things that we have to uh, go through when we are actually linking these things. We would be uh, requiring the Visual Studio and uh, this uh, one API base and HPC toolkits from Intel. So uh, when we have to install, uh, we can install about, uh, we can install this uh, Visual Studio from the links that have been provided below by me and uh, here we can go for uh, community edition and I have downloaded this community edition and I would show this here. So this community edition when you start installing then you would be getting a small uh, warning from the visual installer like this and uh, once you continue with this you would be in this installer starts downloading the installer setup and then it will be asking you to check what are the required sub options which can be included in the installers and setups. We would be using this desktop development with C++ and then we will be installing this visual Studio Community 2019 version. Then, uh, once the installation has been completed, we would be getting uh, the in, the uh, install installation file installation pop up like this. Once uh, Visual Studio has been set up, let's install. Uh, let's see how this uh, one API can be in installed. One API uh, needs if you need to run Fortran subroutines in uh, Fortran uh, in Abacus, we need to install two things: one, the base toolkit from Intel, and then the uh, high-performance toolkit from Intel. So the base toolkit comes here, and then once we we can download it here. From, I'll leave you the links below in the description. So once you can go through this link, you can actually start asking for different uh, OS and then it would be local or online. Uh, I suggest you to download the local one in which it would be downloading entire setup of 3.3 GB which would be easy it should be easy for you to install afterwards once we download it here and i have downloaded here this api toolkit once 
we start in uh, clicking this we would be getting a pop-up of this uh, pop-up like this then they'll be extracting uh, API base toolkit then uh, once the extraction has been completed then it will be asking you to check the uh, ch uh, continue with uh, installer search check for requirements of your system and then it will be asking you to uh, check what are the installations that are be how to be done using one api tool base according to the presentation given by victor these are the installation files that are required for intel uh, fortran to run whereas i prefer not to take risk and then go with all the block building blocks has been installed and you will be getting pop up like this and you can check all of them or only the required uh, things that you wanted to uh, install and then go ahead once you do this you would be getting uh, once the installation is completed you would be uh, getting the completed pop up like this then you can quit it and then you can start installing you can start downloading hpc as well so here the hpc toolkit can be downloaded for windows or linux or for or for mac os then once it has been downloaded either online installer or local installer you can download it and then once you have downloaded it you will be get um, and start extracting it and then try to install then you will be getting pop up like this and you can check all of them and then go ahead and install it once you have installed the intel pop up gives you two installations such as one is intel one be api api based toolkit and then one api high performance computing toolkit once these two has been installed we are ready with fortran compiler as well as the intel one base toolkit it is necessary for us to install base toolkit to have uh, hpc to run then you can quit here then we can start trying to get the uh, once it has been done we have to set the environmental variables of the visual basic and this one api in the system so it can be done by uh, opening this properties of the system then environment variables i'll uh, and go to the path and then you can add the latest environmental variables and the build of this is the and this is the build that has been this is the link in which uh, uh, visual studio has been installed and i am copying this and then storing it in the path here and then also i also in uh, would like to have this thing which is the which is the um one api compiler where it has it has been installed so i would be happy to go to intel and one api compiler latest environmental i am actually copying this and then storing it here so once it is the environmental variables has been set up 
then we can uh, configure the ab abacus uh, ci files so let's see how can i do that so uh, i am going going to do this here in the abacus command file with this following line okay so i'll be adding that in abacus commands where abq 2019 and i'll be opening this so if you see i have added the path of api compilers here with intel 64 architecture with vs 2019 2019 then once this has been done um, according to this you also have to do the changes in the abacus environmental file so when you go to uh, program files result systems simulation services v6 r 2019x win or mac or linux sma and site where you will have this abacus environment files given here we would be adding a command called compile fortran plus names all lower cases this will be added at the bottom of the enrollmental file like this once this has been added here we would be saving it and then closing the enrollmental file now it's done now we can check the system info whether uh, whether the system has inform uh, system has whether the system has the uh, intel fortran by uh, sorry uh, by asking a command called abacus info is equal to system once it is abacus info is equal to system then abacus would give the system info and then if you see this info in which my system has intel fortran compiler 2021.2 and it also has micro microsoft visual c++ inbuilt once this has been done we can go for verifying the this is what it has been given from the command now we can verify the user subroutine from here a backers verify user std this would give you the verification for user subroutines then i hope it would be working let's see and i have run previously and then i got this pass that's from the abacus so let's see now and check once again it would take some time however we got this pass uh, pop up where which says that the abacus has intel fortran installed and linked to abacus and the abacus subroutines can be used in this windows system by linking intel fortran for free